Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a good day because we are finally going to be finishing our Sonic Mania Knuckles playthrough where we are going to be tackling Titanic Monarch Zone as Knuckles. And guess what? If you watch the Sonic playthrough, it's twice as annoying and three times as hard. And I don't even think the layout changed. And the downside is, we got all the Chaos Emeralds, but there is absolutely no secret boss for getting them. Once you beat the final boss, that is Eggman in the Pokeball suit, that is it. Which depresses me to no end. I am absolutely depressed that there is no final boss fight with Knuckles. Like, he can go super. Why, why do you not, why do you insist on not letting him have a... Uh, boss fight of his own like why can't knuckles save the day? <laughs> what is so wrong about knuckles saving the day? I see nothing wrong with this I see nothing wrong with knuckles using the chaos emeralds if you let him get him and let him go super during the levels Why can't you let him have his own special boss fight at the end? That'd be fine. We wouldn't have a problem with that It'd give more of an incentive and replay value to play with knuckles through hell even let tails save the day and let tails get a super form battle of course, we'd need the Super Emeralds to do that. Hint, hint. Yeah, um, so one of the downsides of this game is, like last time, you see how the, you're, like the last uh, stage, you saw that the Super Emeralds were actually in the game, quote-unquote, but they weren't usable, which made me sad. Just a little sad. Because the Hypersonic is, uh, like I've said, my favorite form. Uh, I like the fact that he changes colors, and I like the... Uh, Abilities that he has, you know, having all the elemental shields rolled into one form. And we have the elemental shield, so why not give Supersonic... Or, why not let Hypersonic come back? I mean, it just gives you another... Ex it just gives you an excuse to have more, uh, special stages. I mean, you could do something like that. You could... And we have enough, uh, special rings to collect... You know, 14 special rings. Why couldn't we have the, uh, Super Emeralds? What's... What is so wrong? Why does everyone have something against the Super Emeralds? Come on, Sega! Please! Give Hypersonic back! But I digress, that's just the fanboy and me screaming out for vengeance at the forgotten form that was, like, the whole reason you place... or the whole reason you got the seven, uh, Super Emeralds. I just like the concept of the Super Emeralds. It gives you another reason, it lets you have Supersonic and then have a reason to get it again because there's actually something more to it than just a color change or a palette swap you know it's just it gives you more you're faster you're stronger you're built to last longer like echo shoes only not as cool or outdated does echo even make shoes anymore i remember those commercials when i was a kid but i haven't seen those in a long time you know which one i'm talking about the one with the rhinos that were running across the screen and they were like echo shoes faster stronger built to last longer you know it's like built ford tough or built ram tough i don't remember which one it is cars aren't really my thing i was more into trains yeah while everyone else was watching lightning mcqueen i was watching thomas the tank engine and while everyone was playing with hot wheels i was playing with thomas the tank engine <laughs> yeah i had a I had a very uh train oriented childhood along with sonic oriented hey look i just saw that special ring i didn't even realize it was there the first time cool maybe i'll try to get that next time i play through this game i'm not going to be doing a playthrough with tails because the knuckles one doesn't even have any significant differences to it so playing through with tails wouldn't be worth it playing through with knuckles honestly there really wasn't much of a difference to begin with, so you know, I, I I can I can I can live with just the two playthroughs. I don't see much of a point to doing a Tails playthrough, honestly. Also, this is going to be uh, one of the longer levels in the game because God, that boss fight was just a pain in my ass. Like you don't understand, I I. The final boss fight alone was just reason enough to rip your hair out like, oh my god. <laughs> Eggman, how could you be so cruel? Why did you invent a Pokeball of death? Also, this level is just really, really long. 
Like, I'm sure part of it's because I don't know the layout that well, but I'm also sure another part of it is because this lay this level is just stupid long. Like, on purpose. It's the final level, it's supposed to be grand and absolutely massive, but for the love of god, this has that Sonic Heroes problem where the level just feels like it goes on and on and on. And it doesn't need to. I'm sure as I get, uh, replay this game and get better at it, I will have, uh, faster time runs through this game, but right now, all I can really say is, for the love of god, this game is so unfair in terms of how long the levels actually run for. But, thankfully, we're already at the first boss. And this boss is not that hard to beat. And not that hard when you're a Sonic. Knuckles, unfortunately, doesn't jump as high. So, getting a run and jump at the boss isn't always going to work. What I wound up doing was just taking advantage of the invincibility frames to get some damage down on it. And then, at that point, I uh, decided to see if having a lot of momentum would repel me into the bottom of the boss. Because Knuckles didn't fight this in a... Uh... Did he? I don't think he did. Yeah, Knuckles didn't fight the Death Egg Zone robot. Because he didn't have Death Egg. His uh, game ended at Hidden Palace. So he didn't have to fight this. He wouldn't reach it to begin with. Of course, the uh, second stage is also still a pain in the ass because the gravity changing effect just prevents you from being able to make short work of it. How dare you control gravity? That's not fair. And how dare you throw me above you? That is also not fair. But this thing is almost dead. We should be able to wipe it out and wrap this up pretty soon. Well, just this part of the boss fight. We have a whole lot more of the stage to go. Come on! Drop down and let me beat you to death. Please. It's my job. I can do that. I can spin dash into you. Come on, just drop down. Just 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 drop down. What is what is so wrong about dropping down? You know what? Doesn't matter. You're dead. Let's just leave it be. Doesn't matter anymore. You're gone, it's done, it's over with. And that was Act 1. Now we're going to move on to Act 2. And oh my god, if you thought this one was running for a little bit of extra time, this is just going to be nuts. Knuckles looks like he's ready to go there. Hey look, Lego faces! Yeah, you're still, no one is ever going to be able to convince me that those aren't Lego faces. They just, they just, they just look too... It's just, it is just so, so hard to not unsee. Also, why does Eggman have a stained glass window of himself in... Is this supposed to be a giant ship? Or is this supposed to be like a base that he built on Tiny Planet? Because if you remember from the end of the Sonic playthrough, this game takes place on Tiny Planet. Which leads me to honestly believe that those are time stones that we are, you know, chasing after. The one that Eggman has, the purple stone. I really think that that's supposed to be a time stone. Because this game takes place on Tiny Planet, and that's where the time stones are. Also, that's where the setting for uh, Sonic CD takes place, so, yeah. If you don't know what Tiny Planet is, check out Sonic CD. It's really, it's, it's explained. Not in depth, but it is explained. That's also the first game Amy showed up in, funny enough. She was kidnapped by Metal Sonic, and she didn't look anything like she did now, and I think her name was Rosie the Rascal, which was... Really, really dumb. Like, really dumb. I definitely like the name Amy better than Rosie. Like, ugh. I, I don't know. Uh, names based off of colors, just uh, like Rose and Violet. Ugh. I'm not a big fan of those types of names. Not at all. Could be worse, but... At least I haven't met a dandelion, although I pretty much honest, I honestly, I believe that that exists. <laughs> a dandelion, that'd be a weird name. But, so as you can see, we've uh, 
cleared one of the sections of the uh, four rooms that we need to clear out, and we've moved on to the second one. So this should be easy enough. We're almost done. Once we finish Act 2 and once we take care of the boss, that's it, guys. That's everything. That is the whole Knuckles playthrough. Which, again, I kind of really want to stress that I am really disappointed that it's not as different as I thought it should be. Or would be. I, I even would go as far as to say that the Knuckles playthrough that he had in Sonic 3 and Knuckles was a lot more expansive. But... <sighs> And I mean, at least that made sense, I guess, in terms of a uh, story that they're basically the uh, same thing. But even the differences were kind of big. Like the fact that most of the uh, Angel Island that or Angel Island Zone, the beginning, how it was in water, now it wasn't in water because Angel Island wasn't in the sea; it was now in the sky. You know, but it took place after Sonic Story, so I guess that makes sense. Also, that was an amazing save, but I think that we really, really need just next time we get a game that lets you play as Knuckles, Tails, or Sonic, I think they all need more expansive individual courses. I think that would be a really, really, really neat addition to have. But um, since I guess that's not something that we're probably going to see for at least a little while, because... Um, a lot of the big complaints for, like, not just, you know, Sonic 06, but a lot of the big complaints for a lot of the 3D Sonic games, um, outside of the fact that the voice acting was just terrible, is um, the gameplay was unfocused, and adding a bunch of characters with a bunch of their own gameplay styles really kind of takes focus away from the core idea of the game, because you're basically making a bunch of mini-games tied around central characters as opposed to one game with a bunch of different playable characters. So, I can understand why they're hesitant to do that, but I really think that, especially given this medium, it would be really, really fun to see. I mean, all you're doing is just making different level designs. You're not changing, you know, core, the way the characters work or anything. You're just making levels that are designed to uh, work with them and their specific, you know, traits. Like, levels that would encourage Knuckles to glide and climb walls a lot more, levels that encourage Tails to fly you know, and Sonic, the, all the levels that Sonic has encourage speed and uh, pattern memorization, you know? I just think that that would be a really, really fun thing to explore, but I don't know if we'll ever get that. Anyway, so we've taken out uh, two of the main little teleport rooms so far, and we're working on the third right now. And this one is probably the easiest out of all of them, because all you really, really need to do is um, just, you know, keep going up. There's no... There's very few enemies that will really get in your way. All you really need to do is just keep heading up. Like, you know, the special stage. And once you do that, it's, you know, all downhill from there. And now we move on to the one that I hate the most. Oh god, do I hate the stage, or this part of the stage with the passion. This is, hands down, the hardest uh, transition room for me. I... <laughs> Always die at least once, and this uh, particular run is no exception. I think I died twice in this particular room. And one of them is right up here, which you'll see in a second. I got crushed, even though I didn't know I was going to get crushed, which kind of sucked. I was not expecting that. And we have to go all the way back to the beginning. And I really hate those fucking bunnies, because once they throw their bombs... Even if you spin dash, you will get hit by them. There's literally no way you can avoid the bombs. And they throw them literally one after the other, so spin dashing into those bunnies is basically useless. You, I guess it encourages you to jump on them, but I would, I like spin dashing. So. And I get crushed again. Yay me. <laughs> But uh, that's the last crushing death, I believe. So, yeah, I guess with those little bunny pig things, whatever they are, I'm not exactly sure what they are. Um, the object would be to go slowly and jump on them as opposed to spin dash into them. But spin dashing is just such a core part of the series. I don't know. I don't like not being able to spin dash into enemies. And those, uh, the, their attack pattern just basically prevents you from spin dashing into them without getting hit. It really sucks. 
But, you know, that's just a nitpick and a reason I don't like that particular enemy. Hey, stop, stop, stop. We're not playing, we're not playing that game. Stop that. You're not allowed to attack me. You're not allowed to trap me in that stupid force field thing. No, we're not playing that game. Fuck you. So, is it a bunny? Is it a squirrel? And I just got a turtle out of one. You know, it's never really explained how Eggman makes these animals power his machines. How does that work exactly? Does, does it have like a little treadmill wheel inside that he forces the animals to walk through? If that's the case, why does he use turtles to power his machine? Clearly, that wouldn't be an efficient use of their energy. They're slow as shit. You'd need like, I don't know, a way to draw out of their life force. Which, if that's what he's doing, Eggman's a lot more fucked up than you would think, but... I mean, like, shit. You're drawing life force out of animals? That sucks. But, <laughs> it's never confirmed how he does it, so I don't know. For all I know, he could put the animals in there and they could literally just sit in there and their breathing is what powers the machines. Which, I mean, I guess that works. All animals do breathe. But look at that, guys. We cleared the final uh, chamber, and we jumped in the portal, and now we're going to the final boss fight again. Oh, man. This is going to be great. Nothing's going to go wrong here. Hey, fuck you. Stop messing with my goddamn Let's Plays, monitor. Hey, what did you do? Hey. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so I died like three times trying to get this, or trying to fight Pokeball Eggman, so, um, yeah. Uh, Pokeball Eggman's a pain in the ass with Knuckles. But I did eventually do it, and this is the playthrough with it. Although, I also have to say, again, I am really disappointed that you cannot go super as Knuckles and have... You know, an ultimate epic boss fight. You only get that boss fight with the red dude if you f stop him from taking the Master Emerald. Which, I guess, is what Knuckles' uh, storyline was. If you play as Knuckles, he stops him from taking the Master Emerald so that dude doesn't transform, so he doesn't get the Time Stone from Eggman. So you don't have to fight him as Super Sonic, but... Like, I want to fight him as Super Knuckles. I want a reason f to get the Chaos Emeralds other than just the ability to transform, you know, during the stage. I want a reason to get the Chaos Emeralds, damn it! What is so wrong about giving Knuckles a super stage? What's so wrong about giving Tails a super stage? Why are these wrong things? That is my ring, Eggman, you can't have it. Also, if Eggman's going to crush you, you can jump up and hit his shield, and I guess that prevents him from damaging you. Hey look, we have to fight the Ninja Star! So, I wonder if you can destroy these guys. And I wonder if you do destroy them if there's a different ending. Because you can damage them, but I don't know if you can destroy them. If you destroy them, does that prevent Eggman from teleporting you to them? Is that how that works? I don't know, I guess it's something I'll have to try on my own one of these days. But, yeah Eggman can't kill me. You cannot kill the Knuckles. Ugh, the Knuckles. That is a dumb name. But we take out two of his tendrils, and now we just have to take out the remaining two. It should be easy. Come on, Eggman. Come on, Eggman. Just start, start doing your jumping thing. Yeah, that's it. Let me hit you. Three times. Four times. Destroy one tendril in one go. And now we just have to get the last one. And I can't believe he jumped in front of me, but for some reason, I ran through him when I tried to do my spin dash, and he did that twice, actually. And I, got on, I went through him two times, and I don't know why. Uh, I guess it's because I went through on his invincibility frame, so I didn't hit him. Which kind of sucked, but eh, I'll live. Also, that was not fair. And now I have no rings. Fuck. Now I really have to be careful. See, look. He did it here, I spin dash, and I go again, and I go straight through him. Which, I guess, is lucky on my part, because if I didn't go straight through him, I would have died. Oh no, those missiles are bad. Bad missiles. Bad Eggman. 
But with the, the extra two hits, we've finally taken out Eggman, and his machine splits. He starts freaking out. The machine starts going caution, and we have to escape. Things start exploding, and Sonic's just waiting in a rocket sled to help us get out of here. Okay. Cool. So that was a neat little ending. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. And since we sat through the credits on Sonic's Let's Play, I'm not gonna, or yeah, Sonic's Let's Play, I'm not gonna do it again. Um, but this is a fun little Let's Play. There was uh, some differences, not as many as I wish there were. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the Let's Play, and I will catch you guys next time on whatever it happens to be. Uh, until we meet again, I am nobody, and I really hope you enjoyed the Let's Play, and thank you for sticking around. See you next time.